percent sex lost 176 points to close at 18,132. The markets opened at 18,298 down 10 points and touched an intraday high of 18,308 and low of 18,111. Nikkei lost 53 points to close at 5,447. Nikkei opened at 5,494 down 6 points and touched an intraday high of 5,499 and low of 5,438. FMCG and healthcare were the only sectors that gained in the day's trade. The mid-cap index lost 0.55% while the small-cap index lost 0.59%. The total of 1201 stocks advanced while 1641 stocks declined during the trading session today. Godra J. Phillips and TDK Healthcare made new highs while SK's microfinance hit the circuit highs. Once again FIIs were net sellers by 170 crores while domestic institutions invested 141 crores. The inflation rates widely expected rate hikes by RBI were seen to be primary reasons for damp market. The Asian markets were mixed with Seoul and Nikkei caning while the rest of them were in red. The European markets were also seen weak. Sensex gained 42 points to close at 18,308. The markets opened at 18,276 up 10 points and touched an intraday high of 18,380 and low of 18,261. Nifty gained 17 points to close at 5,500. Nifty opened at 5,485 up 10 points and touched an intraday high of 5,520 and low of 5,484. Capital goods, power, FMCG and banking sectors gained in a day's trade. The mid-cap index gained 0.6% while the small-cap index gained 0.37%. The total of 1625 stocks advanced while 1204 stocks declined during the trading session today. Reliance Infra and Badjad Autos were top gainers today while Tata Motors was a loser. FIIs were net sellers by 798 crores while domestic institutions invested 610 crores. The inflation rates have reached a worrying 9% and it is widely expected that RBI may hike rates by 25 points. The entire Asian market had a strong showing today.